Hi everybody. I am super excited to share my Ingalls grocery haul with you today because I got some amazing deals. Uh, last week I showed you my grocery haul from Ingalls and talked a little bit about the deals you can get right now on summer grilling, party, outdoor food type things and I have more of those deals to show you today and a few tips as well so here we go. Um, I went to Ingalls for specific things that were really really good deals and I spent a total of $34 and on everything that I bought I saved a total of 53% overall. Now I shoot every week to save 40% on my groceries so 53 is really something to get excited about and I am very excited. So here's what I got. I got some Lay's potato chips. They were buy one get one free and I made them just over two dollars and don't forget that at a grocery store when something is buy one get one free you don't have to buy two. You can just buy one and you only pay half price which is really great. Um, Tyson split chicken breasts were a dollar twenty nine or twenty eight a pound so I got one package of those. I did get a lot of chicken last week as well so I'm pretty well stocked on chicken for a while but I couldn't pass up that really good deal. Okay here's a tip for you. I got a whole pork loin and it was a dollar ninety eight a pound so it was eleven dollars total and it's really like twice or th maybe even three or four times it's huge the amount of food that the two of us would need for a meal so here's what I'm going to do I'm going to cut it in half and one half I'm going to use as a true pork loin and maybe cook it um, on a Sunday you know as a big study dinner for having company or something like that and the other half and I have to give a shout out to my sister who does the style posts on my blog. She gave me this tip to cut the other half of the pork loin into pork chops and use them that way instead of as a big old pork loin, which is pretty great. And when did you get boneless pork chops for $1.98 last? How about that? So thanks for the tip. Okay, so then here are some really, really great deals I got. Um, I got these Vlasic kosher dill stackers and spears. They were 99 cents each after uh, buy one get one free sale and the coupon. I did break a couponing rule here that I've shared with you before. This one as you can see is a little bit smaller than the spears so I really should have gotten two of the spears instead of one of each because it would have been a better deal but I just really wanted the stackers so I broke a rule. Oh well. Will you forgive me? Okay good. All right so I got um Pasta sauce was why I wouldn't get one free, and I went ahead and got two just because I knew we would use it, so uh, I didn't have to, but I did. So it was just over a dollar each for the ragu, which is really good. The, this Wishbone Ranch dressing was buy one get one free, and I had a coupon that made it 88 cents. Pretty awesome. I only had one coupon though, so I could only get one. Um, Laurelin mustard was buy one get one free, so it made it 48 cents each for those guys. This little package of snack olives was four cents, four pennies. Yeah, pretty great. Um, I love these, they are so, so yummy. The Kalamata olives with a hint of thyme. Seriously, I could, I had to restrain myself from eating them on the way home in the car, but I wanted to show them to you, so I waited, but they're not gonna last very long. They're so good, and for four cents, come on. Okay, more bacon, this was $2, um, or two fifty. I think it was two fifty a pound, so that's, Still a really good deal. I got some Quaker chewy granola bars, two packages of those, and they were on sale also. Hold on, gotta look at my cheat sheet. They were $1.43, which is still really good for those, and don't forget to make sure you get the eight count instead of the four or five count, because it's a much better deal. Um, these 40 pack of the China dinner napkins were um, 18 cents. I had a dollar off coupon, and they were buy one get one free. We don't typically use paper napkins at our house, but I am stocking up for a party this summer. That's why I bought the chips also. And I mean, really for 18 cents, everybody can use some paper napkins, right? This Laura Lynn Thin Spaghetti was 50% off. I wouldn't get one free and it was 50 cents for a regular size 16 ounce package of pasta. That's really incredible. I got a thing of hot dogs because they were a dollar, not a huge deal. And then bananas. And these were the most green bananas I could find in the store. I went to Aldi afterwards and I was really glad to find some green ones that would last a little bit longer. So anyway, here's what I got. I'll show you the little view again. All this for $34. Remember I got that huge pork loin. Pretty great. So I also went to Aldi and um, 
got the rest of my groceries. So I did spend a total of $75 for the week. This isn't everything we're going to eat. And also remember, um, we're not going to eat all those pickles, you know, all the mustard, all of this week. Of course not. But when you buy things on sale, you stock up so that when you need them, you have them. And you never have to pay full price for anything. So that's what I do, and it works pretty well. I hope you can try something like that this week. Even if you just buy one thing that's on sale this week and stock up, you know, get six weeks worth of the pasta sauce or the pickles or whatever it is that you think you'll use in the next six weeks and um, you do one thing like that every week until you have a good stock going, then you'll be really excited to save 50% on your groceries like I was able to do. Um, I did go to Aldi, but I'm not going to show you what I got because I buy almost the same thing there every time. So I will link the video below from the last time I went to Aldi so you can see what I normally get there. Um, it was basically the same stuff as I always get, so no need to say that all over again. Um, if you enjoyed this video, I would love it if you would give it a thumbs up and if you would subscribe to my channel. I do post new grocery hauls every week with helpful tips on how to save 40% or more on your groceries. So I hope you all are having a good week and I will talk to you later.